So now let's import the uh, third Excel spreadsheet, Excel Data Good. I'm going to go ahead and close this import errors and I'll just uh, get rid of, I'll delete Excel Data and Excel Data import errors. Go right back to uh, Excel and uh, browse so I can see Excel Data Good. I'll double click on that and default import the source. Click OK. Same data, everything is all cleaned up. We'll click on Next. And the data files or the uh, columns are all okay. I'm not going to put in a primary key. I'll just click next again. And I'll use Excel data for the name and I'll click finish. And so now I have no errors. I'll click on close. Big sigh of relief. You double click on that. And I'm going to close the uh, navigation pane. You figure, well, I'm done. And really what is happening is you just got started. You got the data through clean. You, you put everything together in Excel and now you've got it in. But now you've got a lot of work to do. Uh, if I click and hold on first name, notice I get this little down arrow up at the top. If I click and hold and drag over to last name, I'm going to sort this table by those two fields. So I'll go to uh, home and click ascending. And what you're forced to do with Excel is you're forced to have all the information for every row. So every order that Albert Dodd had, for instance, you're forced to put in the name, address, and, and everything. And that's pretty much what you had to do to get the data to come in here to uh, access. But now you've got a problem. Uh, you've seen already in the other lectures how I separate the customer so there's only one entry. If I click on the navigation pane, these customers are only in here one time, even though they may have many, many orders. So you need to get your data into that kind of shape. But if I do a control up arrow to go up to the top, let me click on this and now do a control up. What you're going to run into is what happens when, like, Abigail Rose here had a, an address change. Uh, is this the good address, 3984 Main Street? What happens when Adam Canfield, uh, they typed the address in different? Uh, they typed it in different down here. There's three different ways for Adam DeWolf, Southeast and South Space East and Southeast, the whole thing spelled out. You're going to start confronting these differences and the over, overall problem with this is that in this case, I've got order numbers, but there's no customer number on this data. And I did that deliberately because that's what a lot of people run into when they get into converting from Excel to Access. You need to generate some type of, of primary key, a numeric identification for each customer so you can hook everything together like we've done in the uh, the query classes. So that's what this entire next section, section two on migration, is going to talk about. It's going to talk about how do you decide what to do with your structure of your tables and uh, what's what are the best rules to use in making those decisions. So I'll see you in the next section.